the Schulte Sweeties YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a mom of three girls ages 12, 8, and 6. Now last year, um, I have some videos on it, but we switched all of our math. We were using the Good and the Beautiful math and just kind of made the switch from there. Um, my oldest especially was having frustrations with the up, like older levels, like level five, I think it was, five or six. So I had switched her and then I just decided to keep switching all of my kids. So um, we made the switch for my youngest, who is six, to Math with Confidence Level K. My original plan was to switch my third grader, or soon to be third grader, to uh, their level three, but that wasn't out yet, and I was really worried, because she was already ready to kind of move on. I was really worried last year that I would always be waiting for the next level, and so that got me kind of exploring and thinking about other curriculum, and we switched her to Apologia three math. So I had apology, I had math with confidence, and then my oldest was doing an online program. So they were all doing different ones. But as I've gotten, um, as we've done math with confidence level K and apologia, I started having a preference of apologia. There is nothing wrong with math with confidence. And if something didn't work out with apology and math, we would probably switch back to uh, math with confidence. But I thought I would do a video. My plan next year, well, after she finishes math with confidence level K, she will, my youngest will actually switch to apologia level one. So I thought it would be good to compare the two of those because they're pretty similar in, um, age group, like, whereas level three of Apologia would be a huge jump from Math with Confidence level K. I will say, I have only had experience with Math with Confidence level K. I cannot speak for any of the future levels. I have not used those. I only have experience so far with Apologia level three, but Apologia level one looks pretty similar. So, those are, that's kind of my, I don't know what other levels are like, so I can't really tell you. Um, I will just give the best information that I have. So a couple comparisons. Math with Confidence is considered like non-religious, so there's no religious materials in this one, but Apology of Math does have some religious aspects to it. There are stories in Apology of um, like at the beginning of each unit to kind of introduce the subject. You can skip over it. And that's pretty much where it is. There are some word problems throughout that like might have a little bit of information in it, but that is one difference between the two programs. So I'll just go ahead and get started with Math with Confidence. This is the workbook. It is pretty small. There are tons of videos all around giving like flip throughs and just information about it. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot of like flipping through necessarily, just give a few examples. Um, so this is the workbook. It's really pretty skinny. And this is where they are doing their work. Uh, for Math with Confidence Level K, they are only doing like one page, not front and back, just one page. Um, and it's pretty simple. They really don't have a whole lot to do. They do tracing every day of numbers and then they do some of the work here. Um, but it's really not a whole lot. But what, where you get the lesson from is you need the teacher guide and it is pretty thick right here. Um, so you are going in and you have different units. This is a master, both of them are actually mastery approach. Um, so you will have, like, let me give the, in, the information of what you will be going through in Math with Confidence Level K. Numbers to 10, shapes, directions, and patterns. Comparing numbers to 10, addition. Numbers to 20, measurement, subtraction, numbers to 100, and time. So that is what you're going through. You have like an introduction and then um, they will tell you like different things that you might need. Um, you talk about shoes like when you have pairs. Um, it tells you what page you need to do. Um, it gives all these examples 
and pretty much in this level, it's hands-on, but it's hands-on where like you're gathering maybe some toys to count or um, leaves and sticks and things outside. Um, it's not, in my, so far, I have not noticed a lot of like extra games or things. It's more hands-on counting and that type of thing. Um, sometimes they might do like a, a, a game here and there, but it's not, not a ton of things. And you usually will like um, do some like hiding of numbers on like a 10 frame or something like that. One of my favorite parts of Math with Confidence is um, at the, well, at the beginning of the lesson, it, well, at the beginning of the week, it will tell you like kind of all this information. Um, but then there's a math book of the week. And so typically what we will do is do the lessons for the week. And then on that last day of the week, so there's really only four lessons in a week. And then the last day we will um, read that book. Usually we find it just on YouTube. I don't buy all the books because that's expensive. Um, so we usually find them on YouTube and just go and read the book. Um, and it does tell you pretty much how to do the lesson. One of the reasons why I will say this is not my favorite is it's just kind of a lot to read. I don't know. There's like bolded stuff of like, I guess what you should read and then like some extra information. And I don't know what it is, but somehow this is like difficult for me to follow sometimes of um, all of the instructions and read this, don't read this, and and just like gathering some of the um, things that are needed. And so it's sometimes hard for me to get all that like, okay, I have to do, when you do a review and then you go um, into the, the lesson and the lessons really don't take that long. So this is definitely needed to complete the lessons and then they just have a workbook page. I will say my daughter, so she is in her second year of kindergarten, so we call it like kindergarten B or something, but um, so she is probably closer to first grade work, maybe, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Um, so we are kind of just going through this pretty quickly. She does two lessons a day typically, and she has had no problems. If she ever has something that she doesn't understand, then I will slow down for her. Now, for Apologia, um, this is the actual teacher guide. So it's the skinnier book. Um, so it's kind of opposite. You do still need this. Uh, what happens is at the beginning of Apologia, they have a like schedule. So it's telling you what lesson you're on and then what skills you need to practice. With Apologia, they have a lot of, um, you practice those extra skills just to make sure you're reviewing those. Um, they have some extra pages you can print online to help out with those extra skills that you need to learn. learn. And then also with each lesson, they have like some ever, other information and then the answers as well. So that is the um, teacher guide. But then this book is where you get all of what the student needs to do and the lessons are in here as well. So just to an example, this is once again, mastery approach. Um, so first grade level one will be doing some different things here. Let me get to it. Um, so they do introduction to addition. Uh, unit two is addition and subtraction. Unit three will be place value. Unit four is measurement and data. And then unit five will be geography. And they're adding like two digit numbers in here and doing some measurements and all sorts of things in here, shapes. So they have all of this. So one thing about Apologia is after each unit at the end, they will do like kind of a um, unit project. Um, in the upper levels, they have like a review and then they have the unit project, but this is like, so this project is talking about managing your own store. So this project, you will use your knowledge of addition and subtraction to run at your very own pretend store. So they have this whole um, thing that they need to complete to 
just use their skills that they have learned in that unit. So I really think that is fun. This is an example of where they have, this talks about the creator. So this is the religious part. It's just a story kind of um, front and back and it has a, usually a verse in it. But the lessons, one of the things about the lessons for this, they start out with an activity, a hands-on activity. Usually it is um, like a game and my, my middle daughter has loved the games. Um, sometimes they might need like playing cards. Usually we use Uno cards. It's not been too crazy. Um, some of the forms of things that you might need are um, in the back of your teacher guide that you can um, you can tear out or you can print them from the website as well. Um, so you do your activity and then you're gonna have kind of like a short lesson a lot of times. It might just kind of give you just a little bit of information. I will say the lessons are not super in depth. And so sometimes you might need to like get a little bit more um, creative with trying to make sure your child knows what they're doing. So this one, this is where it um, shows you this one is skip counting and it's going through the my hundreds chart and you're kind of just reading this and making sure that your child understands what's going on. But really a lot of times the um, the game or the hands-on thing is what introduces the topic for that day. And then they will usually do a worksheet. So this one has front and back of practice. So it's got like nine problems there and then some different problems on the back. And then you're going into your next lesson. So um, it is a little bit more work it looks like than um, the math with confidence level K. I know I have heard that the upper levels of math with confidence will give you more worksheets to do. Um, so that is the some of the differences between apology and math and math with confidence. Um, I hope that this was helpful. If you have any other questions that maybe I didn't touch on um, from these, or if you want full flip throughs of kind of what more lessons look like, I can do that as well. Just let me know. Have a great day.